We're here to explore fashion in space, in particular, tourist fashion, because this is the new spacesuit that passengers aboard Virgin Galactic will be wearing when they travel into space next year. The Spacewear Ensemble is all made by Under Armour. It's designed to help average folks deal with the extremes of the flight experience. And this being Virgin Galactic, you know they had to reveal the outfit with style. Like with a choreographed dance inside a vertical wind tunnel at an indoor skydiving facility. That is one flexible spacesuit. But uh, if you are a passenger, you may not have a lot of time to choreograph your own zero-g dance in space. That's because it's a pretty short trip. Six passengers and two pilots will take off on a runway. At 50,000 feet, the spaceship is released from the aircraft. Then the rocket motors fire, and passengers will feel those G-forces, hitting 3.5 Gs as it climbs to low Earth orbit. Then folks get about five minutes of weightlessness before gravity pulls the ship back down to Earth. The ship is pressurized, so you don't need a helmet. This is just an outfit to savor space, not actually work in space. There are a lot of little elements that make this suit pretty cool. Let's start with the outside a few features. There is a mission patch. You can feel it's a little bit raised right here. So the patch is printed, it's a little rubbery, and the words Virgin Galactic are a little raised and bumpy. There are six people on board the spaceship and two pilots. Now those six passengers will have their signatures and names here on this mission patch. The iris image on the patch is even unique to each mission. It blends the irises of every passenger's eye to form one cool mega iris. You also have a patch to customize where you're from. So this one has a USA flag, but it'll be the flag from wherever the person's from. In here is where there'll be technology to put the communications and you can hit this button over here to talk to the pilot. That's kind of cool. Right now the button just, just says Virgin and you don't really feel it on the model, but this is where it would go. Up top, padding. Padding is to make you comfortable when you are harnessed in that seat. You don't want to think so much about being uncomfortable when this is a very short flight. You only have about five minutes of actual weightlessness before you're coming back down again. There are a lot of pockets. Yeah, we have a lot of pockets on the suit. If you want to take like a big notebook, I would put it here. My school project on space, which I wrote when I was 10, that will travel to space with me. Oh my gosh, you have a signature from Buzz Aldrin and yeah. he says, uh, well, my teacher, excellent. <laughs> my teacher originally gave me good work, B plus, which I thought was disgraceful given the quality of my work. And Buzz corrected that and made it excellent, A plus. What about people who get sick? Is there like a barf bag, like like pocket? Like, <laughs> uh, so I really don't expect that anyone is going to get sick. Um, typically, that's associated with longer duration space flight or multiple multiple cycles of G. I don't expect anyone will be sick, and I myself was not sick, and I didn't medicate. Um, if you do want something ahead of the flight medication or you know a bit of experience in an aerobatic aircraft will provide that to you if after that you have some kind of stomach awareness on your flight there is a provision for that in a pocket but uh, I don't think anybody will ever use it they did something kind of cool on the inside pockets as well let me just uh, open them up and take a peek so in here there is a place to write your personal mission statement. Why are you going into space? Taking more and more passengers out into space will enable them and us to look both outwards and back, but with a fresh perspective in both directions. Professor Stephen Hawking. And over here is a clear pocket. Let's say you're traveling above the earth and your family can't be there with you because you couldn't afford a ticket for everyone or maybe they're just kids and they can't go yet. So there you go. Just give yourself a little instant photo. Oh, family, there you are, tucked close to my heart. Oh, we can take a look at the back. Here, come on, let's go take a look at the back here. 
the symbol you see on a lot of the materials. It's what they call the Virgin Galactic DNA. It is flight into space, that being the image of Spaceship Two, which you would be traveling on. And of course, man's first attempt at flight. It's Icarus flying too close to the sun. <laughs> this is the first step into the privatization and the commercialization of man traveling into space, like space cruising. Under the suit, folks will also be wearing a base layer. It helps with blood flow and moisture and temperature management. Because hey, you're probably gonna get a little sweaty with the nerves of being shot up on a rocket leaving the planet. So you'll stay cool while looking cool. Because if I'm going to pay for a ticket into space, I wanna make sure that my outfit looks like I'm from the future. They've accomplished that here. Um, you know, just the cues that we have from the spacesuit continuing on. Uh, we have the gold tape that carries on. We've got the uh, flight profile for Virgin that really ties into the whole thing. And then on the bottom, we actually have a gold plate that kind of symbolizes sunrise and some stars in here that symbolize, you know, from the, the space ports that people will be looking at and kind of the stars and things. So we m try to make it look cool as well. I am going to wear the heck out of that outfit. I'm wearing it for every Halloween for the rest of my life. <laughs> There are also going to be gloves. We don't see them here at this unveiling event, but they said they want to have gloves so that way grip is a little bit easier. You don't have to think about uh, maybe jamming your finger as you're flying through the cabin. So who gets to wear this? A seat on the spaceship cost $250,000 and 600 people have bought tickets. Some customers we met at the event bought their ticket over a decade ago. So it's been a long wait. Well, I've been waiting all my life, so I'm, I'm a very patient person when space is concerned. So when will people go? Right now, they're saying next year. The next steps would be to actually take this suit, do some tests with it, actually have people go up into low Earth orbit and feel weightlessness, feel what it's like with the suit, make little adjustments. So there's still time for more little adjustments to make. Now, if you want to take home one of these and you can't afford the big ticket price of $250,000, well, Under Armour is still going to sell outfits inspired by it. I mean, honestly, nothing's going to be cooler than the actual spacesuit, but apparently they will be working on a couple different items for fans to buy. And who knows, maybe in time the ticket will get cheaper. This is just the first step into making space flight into something anyone can do. Space cruising, it's the future. This is just the baby step. Let me know in the comments what you would put in the pockets of this suit. What would you take with you on a trip to space? Thanks for watching. Richard, would you want to go into space yourself? Would I go into space? Yes. Well, I kind of am a little scared, but this is like a dip into space. This is like, oh, we're just going to go up a little bit and come back down. Uh, I think I could do that. As for Mars, that's okay. I'll let the future kids of tomorrow do Mars. I'm okay with this though. <laughs>